Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your color management on your Mac on your Macintosh computer for Adobe Illustrator CS5. I'm going to start by installing my ICC profile, which I've already saved on my desktop. If you don't have your ICC profile and you're a Condi client, then give us a call at Tech Support or send an email at support at condi.com and we're happy to email it to you. Again, I'm going to double click on this folder. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy my GX7000 Dotrans high quality. So today we're going to be demonstrating how to set up color management for Illustrator CS5. However, this would work with any profile on any of your sublimation systems including the Epson. So now that I've copied it, I'm going to go up here and left click on go. I'm going to go to my computer. You can also do it from your Macintosh hard drive. Once I'm there, I'm going to go to library. I'm going to go to color sync. I'm going to click on profiles. And in here, I'm going to right click and paste my profile that I just copied. As you can see, it's in my profile folder, which is where I want it. I'm going to get out of these folders because I'm done installing the profile. Now, now I'm ready to go to my application, which is Illustrator CS5 for Adobe users. And I'm going to click on Applications. And I'm going to find my CS5 Adobe right here. And double click. And that's going to open that. And now I want to create a new document. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say File, New, and that's going to open up a dialog box where I can detail my document. And for the purposes of the video and setting up color management in Illustrator CS5, we're just going to write Demo because we're not really going to put anything important on the screen. This is not about printing. Um, letter size is OK. All these other things are OK, so I'm just going to say OK. And there I have a new blank document. I'm going to go over here to my tools. I'm going to left click on a square because to access my print settings, I must have something showing on my page. And that gives me a big square. Now I'm going to go to left click on edit. I'm going to scroll down to I see color settings. And um, what I want to do here is to, these are tweaks. These are small color tweaks. And what's important here is that I create a setting that's going to uh, uh, just zone in my color that I want with my profile. So I'm going to check the box that says advanced settings and that's going to open up some more little menus down here. And my RGB color setting is this is what I want in there. It's already set for me but if it's not there, if I don't see the SRGB IEC 61966, I'm going to click my fly out and I'm going to select it. Uh, the CMYK US Web Coded Swoop V2, that's fine. We're going to leave that alone. By default, you'll see that. Color management policies is going to be convert to working space. If you don't have uh, convert to working space, then uh, just, just go in there and select it. And this is fine for my CMYK. Uh, if that's not selected, you can choose that too. We're not really using CMYK here. Uh, ask when opening, ask when pasting, ask when opening. We want to check those boxes. Um, so now what I want to do is to uh, change my intent to perceptual. Black point compensation is selected by default. And I'm going to save it. So I left click on save. I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it um, Condi. GX7000 and I'm going to say save. And I already have a setting that exists, but uh, that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and say replace because that's fine. And now I'm going to click OK. Now I'm ready to go to file. And I want to go down here to print so that I can get to my custom print settings. And I'm going to choose my printer. You're going to see the general tab here, the general selection. This is where you choose your printer. Now I'm ready to jump down to uh, color management settings. 
and where I want uh, color to be managed is going to be let illustrator determine colors. If that's not selected, make sure you select it. That gives me the ability to put a profile in here, which is the profile that I just saved in my profile folder. So I'm ready to uh, scroll down and find my GX7000 profile, which corresponds with my Gel Sprinter GX7000. Every printer has a unique profile, so make sure you have yours that goes with your printer. I'm going to change my rendering intent to say perceptual. And if I want, I can save the setting. And I'm just going to go ahead and save it because I want to show you how to do that. And we're going to call this uh, again Condi GX7000 because this will only work with my sublimation printer. I'm going to say OK. So now if I wanted to go in here and print, um, uh, say I had a new document, I can just click this fly out and choose my preset and that's going to put everything back. And now I'm going to, well, if, if I had an image I would print now. Uh, Rico users, you're going to mirror your image and Epson people, uh, you can save a preset where it mirrors your image for you. Uh, some of the Macintosh people now have a driver, the new driver, where you do have a preset for mirror image, but if you don't, make sure you mirror your image for the Rico printer, which is done in your application. I'm going to click Done here. And for Rico people, um, if you don't know how to mirror your image, you can go up here to Object, and uh, we'll do a Transform and at this point you can click rotate and you can type in um, um, rotate your image at what degree you want to and click OK. Um, there may be other ways to do it, I'm sure there is, but this is a quick way that I want to show you. But make sure you do know to mirror your image if you're a Rico user. If you don't have a preset saved, you'll need to do that before you sublimate to Condi products. Again, that's all there is to setting up color management for Illustrator CS5. If you have any questions for us, you can, you can contact us at condi.com or you can go to um, send us an email at support at condi.com. Also, uh, you can give support a call at 1-800-826-6332 and we're happy to help you with setting up your Photoshop CS uh, I'm sorry, your Illustrator CS5 and any of your Adobe programs if you're a Condi client. Again, thank you for your time and we look forward to hearing from you.